I stop, he stops. He's such a good, loyal dog. Come on, pup. You two old boys. Yeah, right, pet. Hey, you coming, big fella? Too many interesting smells. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, looks like there's a dead bird, and Rindle just ate the body. You can see the foot right there. Great. You're gonna be sick later now, are you? Just what I need. All interested in the dead bird. <sighs> That's nature. The canines are quite scavengers, quite the scavenger. This flower bed, I'm so pleased with how it's turning out. It's got the hellebores. Not sure what these beautiful blue flowers are called. They're not bluebells, they're something else. Then there's these blue irises. And then I have the um, hydrangeas coming out. This is one that has a beautiful dark leaf on it. Tulips are beginning to come filling out. And these are some late very aromatic um, daffodils. Isn't that right? But it's, uh, I'm very pleased with how this flower bed's turning out. A few more years, and as the snowdrops thicken, and the irises, the baby irises, the tiny miniature irises thicken out, and these guys, I'm not sure what they're called. Oh, I'm getting bumped by the love bug. But you'll see the hydrangeas will fill out. So this bed is supposed to be mostly during the summer months is hydrangeas. And then during the spring, it's hellebores, snowdrops, irises. And some tulips. I can't remember what color tulips I planted in here. I'll find out soon enough. Looks like they might be red. That looks like a red, coming out red. It'll look beautiful against this dark hydrangea leaf. So, off to get breakfast. <laughs>